whenever you feel like you need a change in your life, do you start with your hair first? Hey guys, it's Nina and I'm back with another video. It seems like it has been forever since I've been on. May was just a crazy busy month. I had a lot of travel to do and then it was my birthday. I turned 33. So yeah, just a lot of stuff happened in May, but I am excited to be back talking to you today. So I have been thinking a lot about what I want to do with my life, just planning things, setting goals. And one of the things that I've been thinking about is whether I want to cut my locks or not. And this is not clickbait, this is a serious thought that I've had. It has been over five years and I'm really, really grateful for all the progress that I've made. I'm grateful for this platform that I have here. At the same time, I'm feeling a little like dry on inspiration. I'm just feeling like my hair is just not doing what I want it to do. And honestly, I'm just like ready for a refresh in some sort of way. And I don't know if you can relate to this, but I know whenever I'm feeling like I need a change, it always starts with my hair first. I had shaved off all my hair in 2011 and that was because I was going through this transition phase of life and so I kind of feel like I'm in that same place however because I have put so much time and energy and effort into these locks I don't just want to like go willy-nilly and shave them off immediately like I really want to give myself time to think about this to process it just like to process being 33 now getting older and just just kind of figure out where I am in my life and what I want. I know quite a few people that have had locks for years and they ended up cutting their hair all off and now they're rocking basically these high top fades which I just think are amazing. Cheska Lee who was one of the foremost lock personalities on YouTube she cut her locks off after having them over 10 years and I absolutely love her hair. I just, I like the simplicity of short hair. I like just being able to kind of get up and go. And I've just been seeing a lot of people who have locks cut them and they say they're ready for something new, new phase of life, new journey. And I kind of feel like I'm on that path as well. So I can't say for sure that this is what I'm gonna do because I still I still feel like I have more to go. I still feel like the journey is not over for me. I'm not about to go and shave my head next week, but I do know that I am mulling over some changes and I just have to figure out how they're gonna play out in my life. I don't wanna make any rash decisions, but I also don't wanna feel stuck because on one hand, I am very grateful for the support that I've had here on my channel. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to do something solely for the channel like if it's not really authentic to my life. And I think that's something important for a lot of content creators, just to make sure that you're being you, to make sure that you're still enjoying what it is you're talking about, enjoying what you're sharing, and that you're just living truthfully. But once again, I will not be cutting my locks tomorrow or even next month. I really don't know. And maybe this is just a phase that I will get through. And maybe, honestly, maybe I just need some color or something. I just need something different with my hair. So that is all for this video. I just wanted to share those quick thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. And let me know if this is you, like whenever you since a change, whenever you feel like you need a change in your life, do you start with your hair first? So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.